Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're finally gonna do it. The most requested video on Dino Screen Reviews, a tour of my collection room. Now I've been doing this channel, I think for almost five years now. Has it really been that long? Uh, haven't done a tour video at all because where I was living before, I only have very, very tiny proportion of my collection on display. I've been collecting dinosaurs ever since I was a little kid. I, I couldn't even tell you how many dinosaur figures I have. It's probably close to like over a thousand figures, maybe even more than that. So moved a little uh, about a week or so ago, finally got a nice collection room set up. Still needs a little bit of work, but we're gonna you know, strap in, do a little tour of this thing, show you what I got on display. So grab a beverage of your choice and let's do this thing. And let's enter my new domain. It's not the most impressive collection on display, but I, this has been years in the making for me. I'm just really happy how it's coming out. And let's start with the first shelf. My favorite dinosaur toy line of all time, Beast of the Mesozoic. These figures are a dream come true for me. Uh, just love action figures, so having large articulated dinosaur figures is just absolute heaven. Right here is the prize of my entire Beast of the Mesozoic collection, the Dino Riders Kickstarter T-Rex. Huge fan of Dino Riders uh, growing up, and I'm really excited for Cyberzoic because it's just oozing with Dino Rider vibes. We have the Triceratops up here. Down here, some more Ceratopsians with the Vista Haversa munching on Mr. Penta right here. Some of the smaller 118 scale figures, the Protoceratops and Velociraptor. Down here, surprise, surprise, more Ceratopsians with Blonde Long and a Tromaeosaur. Down here, we have Chinsusaurus, Uteranus, and some more Ceratopsians. And surprise again, more Ceratopsians. Here is my uh, juvenile centric source on a custom base I did that is to be reminiscent of the old Christopher Reeves dinosaur documentary for you older collectors you know exactly what I'm talking about and moving on to the next shelf on the top row right here we have my Morris formation display which is quite quite crowded and we're still missing a bunch of species why can't we just get a nice Barasaurus figure over here we got the Brontosaurus Camarasaurus you can see the Rebor Diplodocus in the back over here, the Holland Good, amazing Apatosaurus. Uh, you know, PNSO's, you know, rough attempt at a Torvosaurus, you know, Safari Allosaurus. Lots and lots of Morrison Formation dinosaurs. Down over here is my Rebor shelf. We got the Stego, the amazing Kiss T Rex. You can see the Ceratosaurus back there hidden by the shadows. And right here is the Deinonychus. Acrocanthosaurus and Tenontosaurus display. Absolutely love this diorama. This whole piece right here is one of my favorite, you know, sets in my collection. One of the first Rebo products I ever bought, and I still absolutely love this thing. This used to be displayed uh, on the nightstand in my bed, but when we moved, my wife says all the dinosaurs need to be in one room, and I was happy to oblige. And of course, I have to throw another Acro in there. It's my favorite uh, theropod dinosaur of all time. That's the PNSO. And then going down over here, it's just pretty much the collections kind of get a little offhand over here. I tried to, you know, have all the Tyrannosaurus grouped together. Still have no idea what my PNS Albertosaurus is. I think it actually got uh, delivered to the moon. We have Dinochirus in the back over here, Therizinosaurus over here. We have all the Carterodontosaurus. You can see the Jigga back there and Mapusaurus and Raxus, Strathiomimus, Zool, and Gigantspinosaurus because why not? Going down to the next shelf, this one is primarily herbivores. You got Ceratopsians and some Hadrosaurs. Over here is a Tenontosaurus. And we got some Para back here. No Caroline because she'll knock over everything on the shelf. She's a big, big clumsy bitch. I do not like that figure. Uh, we got uh, Collectes, Edmontosaurus, you see Iguana. We got a Sukamimus stuck here in the corner. Uh, Vites. Uh, Jinu Pelta, I really, really miss Vite. He did a really nice, uh, what's it called, uh, Sukumimus uh, figure that they uh, showed off a long time ago. And down here is my Holland God shelf. Absolutely love Holland Good. They have just been cranking out hit after hit in the back over here. You can see the old GR Toys version. Uh, Spinosaurus, I guess GR Toys and Holland Good used to work together until Holland Good struck out on their own. I got my Beast of Mesozoic Rex down here and a bunch of PNSO stands because I'm still just kind of like sorting and trying to make things a little bit more cohesive. And for the next shelf, this is my Jurassic Park uh, shelf. This is everything from the first movie. Got the magnificent Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus front and center. And let's start over here. Here is the Raptor Containment Chaos set with the JP workers, the three raptors, 
Muldoon, we got the Jeep, we got the San Diego Comic Con, Dennis Nedry, which likes to randomly, randomly go off. And it's been freaking my wife. I gotta take the batteries out of that thing. Just randomly here. Ah, ah, ah. You didn't say the magic word. And then we got the big Habitat Defender Triceratops. More of the cast of Jurassic Park. Uh, yes, I do have the Hammond Collection Nedry and uh, John Hammond. Just didn't review them yet because I'm waiting for the Stegosaurus and uh, baby uh, T-Rex to come out. Just have not tracked those down yet. Uh, the Gallimimus, the Outhouse, the awesome Hammond Collection T-Rex, Explorer, uh, and Dilophosaurus. Moving down, this is my Lost World shelf. You can see Ian with the Mercedes-Benz. We got some species that showed up in the movie. Pachycephalosaurus, Panoceralibus, uh, Geosternbergia, uh, even though it's technically a trend, it was a concept art. We got Stegosaurus back here, the baby, Roland Tembo, Sarah, and one of the in-gen uh, off-road vehicles. Uh, like I said in one of my reviews, Mattel can go absolutely bananas with the Lost World. There's so many characters it can do, so many vehicles, play sets. They, they, just the sky's the limit when it comes to the Lost World. And then scooting over here, here is my JP3 shelf. Eventually we'll have a human collection, Spinosaurus. Don't worry, I'm sure it's coming. Got the male, female raptors, uh, the awesome hammock collection, and Kylosaurus, and I still absolutely love that Ceratosaurus. And then going down to the next shelf is my uh, 93 classic shelf. Uh, we got the Red Rex and all the figures. I threw the uh, raptor that came with the containment set in here because this just reminds me of the Dino Scream uh, Kenner electronic uh, raptor. And fun fact, that is not why the channel is called Dino Scream. For longtime fans, you know exactly why it's called Dino Scream. And going over to the next shelf, it's just a random selection of Jurassic World stuff. We've got the Indominus, the Resinosaurus, some more Hammond Collection stuff. You can see the Diabloceratops. It's like choice figures I really like. The Cryolophosaurus and the Cos the Lystrosaurus. What a fantastic figure that thing is. And then going down over here, we got some more Jurassic World stuff that is a Jurassic Compound uh, custom painted Dimetrodon from the awesome Ted Brothers, Borilla Pelta, awesome Elasmosaurus. And then going over to this next shelf, I have my some of my Nemo figures. Can't get them all out because uh, definitely, definitely need more shelves uh, for this room. And over here, we have the dead Parasaurolophus. And then scooting over to the other shelf, this is pretty much a mix of some choice safari figures and the Eofauna, uh, oh my god, I forgot the name of it <laughs> as I'm trying to do this video. But yeah, a bunch of safari figures, been collecting safari ever since I was a little kid. Still have boxes and boxes of figures down in my basement. Yeah, this thing is still here. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with the hand collection Triceratops. And down here are just some custom figures. It's a mix of mine and uh, some figures from uh, Ted Brothers, I believe that uh, in Kyla, Don thing over there is from Jurassic Ryan. But yeah, gonna have some chaos effect uh, representation room. Absolutely love the Jurassic Park chaos effect line. The colors are just so outrageous. Uh, and I just absolutely love them. That's a custom uh, canceled uh, chaos effect uh, Triceratops I did a while ago. There's the Omega Rex. Uh, there's the Beast of Mesozoic 135 Rex that uh, Jurassic Compound painted to look like the old Kenner Young Rex. So yeah, a bunch of cool stuff on this shelf. And then on top of the bureau, we do have kind of a mess going on here. I got the uh, Legacy Collection Apatosaurus, and obviously I am a huge, huge Transformers fan. I probably have more Transformer figures than I actually do have dinosaurs over here. We got the new Studio Series 86 Dinobots, Mega Supreme, Scorponok, and over here we have NECA's Gargoyles. It's the only other toy line I collect besides Transformers and dinosaurs just gargoyles was a huge huge part of me growing up absolutely loved the show it was the first show i binged when disney plus first came out it's an absolutely fantastic show just don't watch season three it's absolute trash and then scoot over here this is the last shelf we'll just do the transformers really really quick just a lot of the, the hasbro stuff from legacy uh evolution war for cybertron siege blah 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 decepticons there's my boy starscream right there my favorite transformer of all time Autobots, yay, uh, to some of the 86 movie. I have no clue where I put my RC in blur. Still looking for them, still moving. And down here are some of my masterpiece Transformers, some third party and official Takara. And then down here are the Autobots. And obviously I'm running out of shelf space. Still have some room in this room to fit at least two or three more shelves. So yeah, definitely gotta get on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the room and oh by the way yes my wife has her shoe 
collection in here and I'm the one that has the problem. Okay, sweetie, whatever you say. But yeah, so this is the collection room. Uh, it's probably gonna evolve over the over time. So maybe like once a year, I'll do an update to the room because I know as I get new stuff in, I'm gonna cycle and change my displays up. And like I said, if I can squeeze at least two or three more shelves in this room. So thank you guys for checking out this collection video. I know it's been a long time coming. Hope it lived up to your expectations. And I'll see you guys at the review table.